Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to use new Facebook activity log. Yes, Facebook decided to change things on us again like they always do. They changed the whole look on the web browser side of the Facebook. So we're basically going to show you how to find the activity log again. And then we're going to also show you kind of how to use it, give you a few tips in there. And then that way you guys can get started messing around with it. So first thing, though, please hit the subscribe button at the bottom. You got us to over 1,000 subscribers. We really appreciate that. Let's get us to 100,000 so we can get that cool plaque on our wall from YouTube. Also, please hit like on this video. It really, really helps our channel out, and we really appreciate it. All right, back to the, uh, the video here. I wrote an article, therefore I want to say article, but it's a video this time. <laughs> so you'll see that link below if you wanted to check out the article. Now, first thing we want to do when we want to check out the new activity log is go to your Facebook account. So here's the new look. Pretty, it looks like my phone. Um, so that's basically what we got right here. So what we want to do to find the activity log is to go up to the top. Once you're logged into your Facebook account, go up to the top, right? And click the little down arrow right up here, which is the account, which is actually the menu. And from the menu, you want to click on settings and privacy. Click on that. And then on settings and privacy, you want to click on activity log. There, we just found our activity log. So this is a little different. I'm going to give you a few things. I'm going to go over filter, the filter system, since they do not give you a search feature in here, which is kind of irritating. Unless someone knows where it is, I couldn't find it. Uh, then I'm also going to show you the timeline review. And I'm going to also show you... Um, the main part of the activity log, which is a screen, how that works. Okay, first thing we're going to do is look at the filter. So we're going to go to the left-hand side. Right here it says filter. You want to click on that. Now this filters your stuff. So, the okay, when you're on the home page of the activity log, it gives you a lot more filters. So you got, you know, you can do it by year, which is cool. You can do it by category. Now that's different too. They won't let you choose more than one category, so don't don't even think about it. So if you like hit photos, Oh, wow. Photos through privacy or whatever there. So and you want to hit that one, too. So if I choose those, I want to choose this one. It only lets you choose one category at a time. So you're kind of stuck with that. So that's how you do that. So once you find the cat, like I'm just going to do is activity log and then you hit save changes and then it will save it. And then it'll ch and then over here is where the posts will appear. They do not appear in the middle. You see select an item to open that that we'll talk about in a minute. So that's kind of how the filter is. The filter isn't that great. Um, I think they should let you have a search for like words. Like I had a person ask about that on Facebook about, you know, how do I find by name or by by a certain word in Facebook um, activity log? Well, there's not really a way to do that right now. They only do it by this. So if I hit followers, save. So that's how that kind of works. The filter is not great. I mean, they give you a lot of categories to choose from. Well, it will sort it out. And then a year, that's kind of nice too. But I think they need to add a search box, which would make it a lot better. So now what we're going to do is that's the filter system. Now we're going to go to timeline review. That's right here to the left on the menu. And if you click on that, here's the timeline review. So now timeline review, I'll show you what that's about in a second. So here it is right here. This is everything I was doing. So I was tagged in a post by my sister. It's on the top. If you scroll down, you'll see another one of my sister. My sister posts a lot. Um, so you keep going down. And then this one is my brother. I was tagged in that. So I was tagged in a lot of things. With my, <laughs> my family tags me a lot, which is fine. So if you scroll down, you can see a whole bunch of stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top. And we can mess with the settings of the timeline review. So we're going to click on the gear icon at the top. And this will open this up. This is enable timeline review. Now, this is kind of nice. This is the timeline review controls whether you have to manually approve posts you tagged in before they go on your timeline. When you have a post to review, just click timeline review on the left hand side of your activity log. And then the note here is this could only controls what what's allowed on your timeline. Um, so basically, it does not control what shows up in the news feed or appear in the search, uh, a, a Facebook search, or other places on Facebook. So if you enable it, there. Now um, I'll have to approve a being tagged in things that will show up on my timeline. They'll still show up on the main news feed, but if I get tagged, you know how you get those people to tag you a lot and it shows up in your timeline and it's really kind of a pain? You can actually click this on and approve the ones you want to show up on your timeline. So that's kind of nice. So I'm going to turn mine off. I don't care. So that's how you uh, do the settings. But if you want to change the notifications on your timeline, where you get notifications from, like anyone who tags you or 
does something friends and fan friend friends and friends i like that friends and friends not friends and family screw that they're <laughs> friends and friends are, are just friends so that's kind of the way the timeline review works now that's timeline review now i want to show you one more thing so we're going to go back to the main activity which i think is just basically under the archive actually what i'm going to do is sometimes they don't make it there it is so you go to archive you can go to activity log again that's an odd way to do it i'm going to go back here to show you so how i did that to get back to the main activity log screen you have to go over here i don't know why you should have a you should be able to click that but you don't so you click that and then you can click on activity i don't get why they did it they make it, they're making it kind of hard they're gonna have to work out the bugs so you click that now i'm back on the main activity log screen and here now i'm going to show you how to show something in the middle and right now this is the uh, post from yesterday i liked or i commented on or i posted or whatever it's all right here on the side on the left hand side you'll see them all down here you can scroll up and down on them i want to pick this post so i'm going to click on that and voila there it is now that this is a really good movie if you haven't seen it so this is where the post pops up in the middle now so you like so what it po pops up in the middle well you can actually do things with it if you go to the three dots on the post in the top right corner of it this gives you some options like save link you know turn on notification for this post all that you can actually this is a link post i would i i shared so that's kind of i liked actually i didn't share it and you can do some things with it it depends on what type of post is what what comes up with a menu so on this one since it's a link post it gives me the uh, these options let me show you a different post so if I did this one, now I hit the three dots. I have a couple of different things. Now I have save post, turn on notifications, snooze. You get some of the same options as the other one, but you get an extra, a different option on this one. Even on the one I posted the other day. Let's see if I can find it for you guys. So I can give you the exit here, right here. So on this one, this is the one I posted. This is a post for me. And if you click on the menu link, like I was talking about, see since this is my post i can edit my post i can edit the audience i can delete the post all together so it gives you a, a, a bunch of different options depending on what type of post if you liked it if you were tagged in it if you were the one that posted it so you guys can control your activity log from here which is kind of nice now the other thing i want to show you here if you go over to this to your post you want to look at if you hover over the side menu You'll see three little dots pop up here. So click on that and it will give you other options. Hide from timeline, move to archive. Now I'm going to show you on this one right here. See that one I like. I can click on that menu and unlike it real quick. So if I like, oh, I didn't mean to like that. I, I, I forgot yesterday. I didn't like that person. You can go back and unlike it. So that's kind of how that works on the activity log. So those are the main things, the filter, the timeline review, um, and then also the main activity screen for your posts. So you see them in the middle. That's that's kind of how the activity log works. They need a search feature, which I think is very important. Like I have a search box where you can search the whole thing, but they don't have that. I have another article coming out. I'll show you actually how you can search kind of like a workaround. But um, we'll show you that in a different video and different article. Uh, but right now, that's exactly how you do it. So the filter, the timeline review and how you look at the activity log and your posts. That's kind of the review I'm giving you right now. But hey, get in there, mess with it, see what you can figure out. And that's how you you use the new Facebook activity log. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.